Many things in life are confusing. Algebra is confusing. IKEA furniture is confusing. Heck, the inner workings of a posi track differential is confusing. But if you're in the Redwood Forest in Piercy, California, there's nothing more confusing than Confusion Hill. Home of the rare, elusive chipolope. What is a chipolope? If you're looking for a textbook example of an odd roadside attraction, Confusion Hill is it. Pass through the gift shop and enter the Gravity House and you'll see what yeah. I mean. Yeah, oh, don't, oh, don't fall on me, don't fall. <laughs> Strange forces of gravity present all sorts of anomalies here. Golf balls roll up the hill, people stand crooked, and getting out of your seat is nearly impossible. Well, you sit in it and you try to get out of it without using your hands. <laughs> Owner Carolyn Campbell has been giving tours of this place since 1997, and she still can't explain what's going on here. I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. Confusion Hill was discovered by George Hudson in 1949. After World War II, he visited two other gravity-defying places, the mystery spot in Santa Cruz and the Oregon Vortex. George became obsessed with these places that defied the laws of nature, and after years of searching, he found this place along Highway 101, where the trees were a little deformed. Well, the t I don't know, the twee tree, the tree is twisted, huh. and that, I think, is from something in the ground here. Well, there's never been any scientific study on the property, but okay. the visual evidence is pretty puzzling. Depending on where you stand, you might just grow a few inches. Oh, man, look at me, now I'm six foot. You know, basketball player. As for those rare elusive chipolopes advertised on the sign out front, Carolyn says that it's kind of a confusing story on how the half antelope, half chipmunk animals ended up here. All of a sudden it came with this storm and here was this antelope, and they just pew, became chipolopes. <laughs> if you ask me, Carolyn's story is about as believable as her flamingo petting zoo, but in all fairness, she says that her late husband, Doug, used to tell the story much better. When your husband bought this place, you know, did he just love weird so roadside attractions? Oh, yes. He, he put so much of himself in here. Doug passed away in 2018, but when he and Carolyn bought the place in 1997, they worked hard to bring Confusion Hill out of disrepair and saved a lot of the historic attractions, like this 80-year-old wooden shoe house and the world's tallest freestanding redwood chainsaw carving. It's 40 feet tall. You don't have to understand everything at Confusion Hill. In fact, that's the point. It's okay to be perplexed and laugh a little. I don't understand it. <laughs> It's so confusing. <laughs> From Confusion Hill and Piercy, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road. Whew. That is really confusing here.